Good afternoon, Year 4. Our reading lesson today, we are looking at inference. So if you want to, you can re-watch the Crab Far story. You have the QR code here on the flip chart, or you can use the link on our website. So if you would like to, off you go and watching this story again. So when we infer, we are thinking beyond the words and the pictures. So this is a quick reminder of what we do when we use our inference skills. So what helps us when we use the skill of inference? So using our three pictures for our clues, I want you to pause the video and tell me what we use. OK, so what do these pictures mean to you when we use the skill of inference? Off you go. OK, so we look for clues in the text. We use our prior knowledge, so what we already know. And then we form an idea. So well done if you remembered those correctly from just before half term when we had a whole week on inference. OK, then using these skills, which boat do you think is the crab's favourite and what makes you think this? So I would go back to my video and re-watch and look at the different boats involved and think about which one might be the crab's favourite. OK, so the clue that I found is that he puts a boat in a glass bottle but he doesn't put any of the others in a glass bottle. So I think he's trying to protect that boat. So that's my prior knowledge. He's trying to keep it safe because he's put that one inside a bottle where it's extra, it's got added protection. So my idea is the crab's favorite boat is the one he places in a glass bottle because he is clearly trying to protect it. Okay, so I've looked for clues, I've used my prior knowledge and I've formed my idea. Okay, guided then. How do you think the crab feels when all of the boats arrive? So pause this video, have a little think, go and re-watch the crab far if you need to. And when all the boats arrive, how does the crab feel? So the clues in the text, you can see that the anchors from the boats uh, destroy his boat collection. And also you can see that his eyes are quite panicked, aren't they? So the idea is that, uh, our prior knowledge, sorry, is that he loves his boats. So he'll be feeling distressed, upset, OK, and he's also his eyes are panicking. So that's already using our prior knowledge as well, because we can see from his body language, from his facial expression, that he is very upset. He's panicked and distressed. So how do you think the crab feels? The crab might feel panicked because the humans and their boats have destroyed his collection. Okay then, your three independent questions today. Why do you think the crab can no longer lift his claw very well? That's at two minutes and 12 seconds. How do you know that the crab loves the boat with the red sail? And what encourages the fishermen to travel near to the crab far? Okay, so having a go at your questions independently.